Hey everyone, are you excited? You should be because it's time for a mini van moment. Today we're gonna introduce you to six business people and you've probably met them. We are going to be talking about types of people you should choose to be around in your business and types of people that you maybe should avoid. All right, let's talk about the three people that you wanna avoid first. You ready? First we have the complainer. You know, the person that always has something negative to say. Please meet Whiny Wilma. I can't get any bookings. I have asked. Nobody wants to book any shows. It just doesn't work and it's so frustrating. My gosh, Facebook sucks. Nothing works. So annoying. Like you're annoying. <laughs> All right, another person you want to avoid. The one upper. And you've met her. You share something and then she shares how she did it a little bit better than you. Meet better than you, Betty. So awesome that you had a thousand dollar party last night. I also had a thousand dollar party, except I think mine was probably like a thousand and twenty-five dollars. Clearly doing something right because last month I think I had like six thousand dollar parties. I mean, isn't that awesome? That's a real good idea that you shared today in training, but my idea is actually, it might be a little bit better. I just know that I get like six bookings at every party. And then the last person you definitely want to avoid, the doubter. This person is skeptical and she always, always thinks the worst. Meet Debbie Downer. Um, I mean, that sounds like a good idea, but I don't really think that that will work. Yes, I've heard of the tag team, but you know what? They didn't sell what we sell. And you know, really, like all of my customers from like both my parties absolutely loved the games. And they didn't really mind that I posted 45 times. <sighs> okay, let's talk now about three people that you should surround yourself with. The encourager. You know, that person that always makes you feel better. She cheers you on when you need it the most. Meet cheerleader Charity. Girl, you got this. Girl, you can do it. You can do it. Listen, I know getting bookings. I know it's hard. All right, have you tried texting? Come on over, we can do it together. Girl, I am so proud of you. You killed your goal this month. Woohoo! All right, another person that you should surround yourself with if you're in business is the doer. This person sets a goal and makes it happen. Meet Get Her Done Doreen. So my goal this month is to sell $2,500 in product. Who do I know that I haven't asked for a party yet? Oh my gosh, did you see? They just announced the incentive trip. Are you going with me? How'd I hit my goal? Well, I set my mind to it and I just did the work. I broke down the goal, I know what I needed to do, and I made it happen. Okay, and the last person that you definitely want to surround yourself with, the pusher. This is the person who tells it like it is. She sees the best in you, or she sees the best in what you could become. We call her Don't Quit Quincy. What are your goals this week, girl? I want to know. I want you to send them to me by 5 p.m. today, all right? I'm not playing. Okay, I, I'm here to help you, I'm here to push you, and I'm going to do just that. You said you were ready for it, let's do this. Wait, I'm sorry, did you say you want to quit? But listen, suck it up. Suck it up, buttercup. Because quitting is not going to get you where you need to go. You got this. So put on some lipstick, get some cute clothes on, and let's do this. Alright, you ready? Let's do it. You know these people, don't you? Some of them might look kind of familiar. If you're struggling in your business, if you are not feeling supported in your business, it might be because you're surrounding yourself with the wrong types of people. So find those people you should be surrounding yourself with. Make good choices. Surround yourself with positive people. And then look out. Your business will explode. Okay, so there you have it. Another minivan moment. Have a great week, everyone, and we'll see you next week for the next minivan moment. Let me take a selfie. Fuck it out. This is the only cheerleading I know. <laughs> what? Hey. What's up? What's up? I'm a Barbie girl. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat?